Born and raised in Augusta, Georgia, at the end of a dead-end road in a house that had no plumbing. In fact, to get their water, they had to hand pump it from a well, and they had an outhouse. Larry Jones never forgot that. And to this day, after working at a hospital as a debt collector, a plumbing mentor got him interested, and now he owns his own plumbing company, Universal Plumbing. Some days I'm working before the sun kisses the sky. I watch the world wake up from the seat of my truck. I'm out here earning my piece of the pie. A good, honest buck. No, it ain't love. I was taught to do the things I do so I don't depend on anyone. I work hard enough through the year so I play with. Somebody asked, did I think that plumbing had a lot to do with my lifestyle now? And I literally said, plumbing has all to do with my lifestyle now. Some people say, oh, you make as much money as doctors make. You make, I never feed into that. But I live very comfortably. Because of plumbing. Rolls Royce. Excalibur. Working for Mr. Larry is, is great. You make the same amount of money, even more, as people who go to college for five or six years. They're not realizing you're making more money because you started doing it earlier. We're literally begging for young men and women to come into the plumbing industry, not only to have an excellent trade, but to get a lot of toys. I can't wrap my brain around the opportunities that are not being taken advantage of. This generation, maybe they're hoping I'm gonna have a rich uncle to die and leave me something, but it's not gonna happen. I was born here in Augusta uh, many years ago. I'm one of uh, five children. We grew up kind of in poverty as I look back now. Our restroom was an outhouse. I didn't know the kitchens had running faucets. I remember going to school once, and it was raining profusely, and the sole of my shoe was actually off, and so I'm like walking in water. And I remember my mom came and she said, well, you know, you, you can't go to school with water in your shoes. So she gave me a pair of her ladies' rain galoshes. And I was so embarrassed. I was crying. I didn't want to go to school. And she said, well, son, this is the best that we have. Before you can even see our house, you see this big yellow sign that had dead end on it. The street that I grew up on was a dead end street. We were locked in survival mode. I saw my dad literally walking from the brickyard. I saw my mom on her knees scrubbing. They did that because they wanted to make a better life for us. We all worked together. You could take a little nothing and make a lot of something out of it. We've worked very hard to get the next generation to a place where we don't want them to work as hard as we did. And so I asked the question now, why not? When you work hard, conscientiously, loyally, the money comes. Now the focus is on the money and not on the hard work. This wheel has been created, and you all actually are the cogs in the wheel. If you're not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. <laughs>
Mm. Isn't that something? Larry was working uh, as a patient account representative in a hospital. I'm married now. I have this job that I'm walking around the corridors with a shirt and a tie and a suit on, but I'm not getting paid a lot of money. He has a good friend and his father-in-law was one of the first African-American plumbers in Augusta, and Larry would work with him on the weekends to earn extra money. I'm literally burning myself out. I said, "Huh, we just gonna, we just need to open a company. What? I was terrified. We had two small children at the time. We had a mortgage. He had no business experience at all. He had a vision. I realized one thing about life. The best fruit is out on the limb. I could stand on the ground and wait on something to fall. Or I can climb up the tree and go out on the limb and get it. And so I decided I gotta go out on the limb. He sold my vehicle. He bought a used truck. People would call and he would do the plumbing work, but then they didn't have the money to pay him. Uh, my wife is, she's a very beautiful lady on the outside and on the inside. I could not have made this journey without her. Not just this city, but I'm sure there's most cities in the United States. Help wanted, help wanted. Shalanda is my daughter. She's a problem solver. My niece, Shalanda, she is a brain. She got into education to help young people. And with the politics of education, it wasn't, she just wasn't feeling it. She went to Harvard University and she wanted to come here. I mean, how do you beat that? She watched us a couple of weeks. She just walked around and watched us. She finds issues, figures out how to make them better. When I came here, I kind of had this fantastic opportunity to reach out into the community and, you know, get people hyped up. There are legal and then there's illegal ways to make money. But even within the legal ways to make money, people automatically think athlete, rapper, rock star, something like that. Plumbing is like more attainable. In 10 years, I see myself traveling the world doing this. That's my dream. Larry's niece, Shalonda, after attending Harvard, decided that she wanted to move back home and be a part of the family business. With her passion for marketing and her desire to integrate the new generation, she developed a recruitment program called the Drainy Training. So one of the things I created when I got here was the Drainy Trainee program. They'd spend a week with one technician who maybe did new installation, and then a week on a service truck, and then with the sewer team. You know, plumbing is not just one thing, it's so many things and you could pick and there's plenty of space for you as people are retiring. There's a lot more room to hire plumbers right now than rappers or more musicians or more athletes. <laughs> Helping young people to understand that is what really excites me about the Drainy Trainee program. The thing that makes me feel so good is that we're providing good livings. They have new cars, they have houses, they got it made. <laughs> they really have it made. Growing up, I thought I wanted to be an NBA player, but that was a, a dream and I didn't work hard enough for it. Truth be told, I used to kind of be embarrassed to ride around in the plumbing van. In high school, I would have never thought of doing plumbing in a million years. Through a school program, I ended up getting put with this company. Realized I had a passion for this that I would have never thought I had. You really don't understand the importance of it until you get into it. You know, financially, we're all taken care of. We're able to take care of our families, and we have a good time doing it, too. It's like a guy playing football. They're just big kids getting knocked down in the dirt. And getting paid handsomely for it. It's okay to you know, get out there and, and work on your hands and knees and dig a couple holes every now and then. I'm like a big kid. To me, it's not work. It's making people's lives happy, serving folk. And I get paid for it. Don't listen to everybody saying, no, you gotta go to college. That's not true. 
you know, you perfected your craft a lot earlier. You're the one bringing in that money now. Knowing what I know right now, my advice to kids in high school would be, trade is the best thing you can do. I think you'll enjoy it more. I literally love what I'm doing. Would I change it? No. <laughs>
the values of life, not the things of life, is what we were taught. So if the opportunity arose where we could get out of this, we would have something that, that was more valuable than stuff. It, and I think that that's the thing that's missing today, is life is not tough enough. If you don't know what toughness is, you can't really overcome it because you haven't been conditioned to handle it. Um, what do you think about these kids today? Please. <laughs> <laughs> This is where my house used to be, and it's gone. Right in here was a pump. The pump is at the office. We used to have to come out the back door and pump water and take it in the back door. In my mind, it was a big lot. <laughs> it's a tiny place. I remember my dad, I think he said he paid $250 for this lot. And this lot held our life values and hard work ethics and now it's, it's grown up. Hmm. So is life. So is life. Any dream that you have, man, give it 110%. If you want to be an NBA player, if you want to be a musician, when you feel like you can't go anymore, keep going. And that's what makes you different than everybody else. But the chips fall where they may sometimes. Plumbing for me and for my family has been a godsend. It was a no brainer, you know what I mean? Plumbing, I wouldn't want to do anything else. I love it. This wrench, we are actually this wrench, and we literally have the universe in the grips of our wrench. We can go anywhere in the world. I said, man, oh man, God, what have you done? This is unreal, from being Nobody ain't having nothing to go from there to here. So, young people, if you're listening, do not be afraid of hard work. I'm Larry Jones, and I'm an American plumber. I'm Craig Morgan and you've been watching American Plumber Stories. Be sure to go to our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button and check out all of our other socials. It's American Plumber Stories.